We are in Vancouver at H1604, which is amazing. We went on a, a really cool trip up the mountain and saw some bears and went on a chairlift and it was awesome. It's really interesting to see um, <laughs> hackers on a mountain because, you know, maybe the image of us is that we're not really like uh, outdoorsy and stuff like that. I live in Wiltshire. The highest point is like 100 meters. A mountain, oh my God, we were in the clouds. To have that non-stressful time to just chat with other hackers and learn from them and talk to them, it's been really, really valuable. Security is one of those industries which is changing so quickly. It's becoming more and more relevant. Every few like months you hear of some big hack. Security is really on people's minds at the moment. They're super interested in how things are secured, how they can protect themselves, what a data breach is, what data is available to malicious individuals. And I think just having a platform, a way for uh, hackers to maybe report a vulnerability is very important. Guess what? You're at the United Nations of Hacking here at H1604 in Vancouver! <laughs> H1604 is unique in that we actually have hardware assets in scope. Uh, we can't go into the details, but there are a number of really interesting devices that are being hacked at this event and prior to the event. And that poses some fun challenges. The thing that I like most about hardware hacking is it's kind of a small niche. There aren't a whole lot of people who can do that. It's more of like the physical impact of when you find something. It's really cool to see. There's a lot of like integration between the hardware and a ton of different web application endpoints. Having access to so many talented people is just incredible. I have never been afraid to go up to other people and be like, hey, can you help me out here? Can you explain this to me? I was also like really surprised at how people were willing to share, um, talk about you know the, the struggles they're facing. I was a bit nervous coming because I didn't know anyone. I'd spoken to a couple of guys online. I think among us first timers, we were all very nervous and worried that we might not find a bug. But uh, those who had been there before us they were really encouraging and uh, pushed us to do better. Everyone's just like really nice and accepting. Just really, really friendly. And it's, and it's a really nice community to be a part of. There is a lot of power in collaborative hacking. If you're not doing crowdsource security, it's quite likely you're vulnerable and you have no idea. Just having that many different pairs of eyes just looking at the same problem can give you so many different solutions. Bug bounty hackers are so, so, so creative. You will never meet more creative individuals. Mm -hmm.